Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the new features that Microsoft is testing inside the latest build for the Better Channel. And these new features that we're going to talk about in this video are related to the share section of the File Explorer. In this video, we're going to talk about some features and some visual changes that Microsoft is doing and testing inside the latest build for the Better Channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always, you're going to have to set up Vive tool. So just make sure to get Vive tool from the article below in the video's description, get the latest version.zip, and then open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse, and make sure to extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, in Local Disk C, I have a folder created Hidden Features. I'm going to extract everything there. Of course, I'm going to have to replace the files because I've already done that, but it's okay. This is how you easily set up Vive tool on your computer. Now, of course, we're going to have to open up the CMD using the search box and then click on Run as Administrator. First of all, inside the CMD, you're going to have to type in CD and then paste the location where you extracted Vive tool and press enter and first of all we're going to enable a new feature that adds a new section with which you're going to be able to share using your phone I think that is pretty useful for that we're going to need two different commands the first one is this one Vive tool slash enable slash ID 48513251 you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration and the second one is this one with the ID 48433719 and again successfully set feature configuration this is the first feature related to the share section and these IDs and features were discovered by Phantom Motion 3 on Twitter, so make sure to follow him from the pinned comment below. Also, all the commands that I'm going to show you in this video will be in the article below in the video description. You can just copy and paste them from there. For the second feature related to the share section, we're going to enable a new visual design of that window. So for that, we're going to run the following command with ID 454 and then another command that has two IDs. And of course, all the commands will be present in the article below in the video's description. Also, Microsoft is testing some visual changes, but with different variants. And this is basically one command that will have different variants from variant 2 to 5. So I'm going to show you all of those variants. First of all, I'm going to enable the second variant and I should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. After this, it is recommended that you restore your computer for all the changes to take effect. Now let's open up the file explorer and see how everything is looking. I'm going to go and share a file. Now as you can see, we have this new visual design. The search section at the top is removed. Also right in corners, which will look pretty good. We have share using and also this new section, as I've said, nearby share, share files with nearby devices. Make sure it's the right device, not a different device with the same name. You have my phone to share with someone on Windows PC near you. Turn on nearby sharing on your PC and then you can click on turn on. And as you can see, you have here my phone section. You can click on it and it's going to try to automatically connect to your phone using the phone link app. And also the last command that we've enabled with the variant 2 basically allows the share using section to be at the top of the nearby share section and also with the section of my phone. Now, if we go and enable the third variant for this, basically the same command as the one before, but with variant 3, we can go and right click on the taskbar, task manager, and then go and search for explorer and restart it. And now if we go into the file explorer, we're going to notice that at the top here where you have your contacts, if before you had two rows of contacts, now you'll have only one row of contacts being shown. That basically that is the only difference compared to the second variant. Now I've also enabled the fourth variant. The fourth variant is a bit bugged, so pay attention when you enable it and restart the file explorer. You could have some bugs and the share window maybe won't work at times, but that will enable basically a new share window that will have a more limited design with the nearby share section being only a button under the share using section. And if you enable the fifth variant, what you're going to notice is that whenever you're trying to share something, you're going to have the share using section at the top of nearby share, but with no line that separates them. I'm no fan of this. So I think for me, the best variant should be the second variant because it has basically all you need. You have the full contacts list. You have the share using section separated from the nearby share section, the my phone button and so on. So I think this is the best variant that you can do. Of course, make sure to check out the article below because there you'll have everything categorized and you're going to be able to see how to enable each section and each new feature and also along with all the new variants. But as I've said, pay attention to the fourth variant because that is a bit bugged. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I'll zoom out your home TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.